Okay, we are creating the scorekeeper um, in this video. This is probably the most complex um, program we've encountered yet on the micro bit project. We have to create two variables to keep track of the score for two different teams um, and then be able to see that score or reset the score at any time. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is on makecode.microbit.org, we're going to create a new project here. Uh, we're going to call it um, scorekeeper. Uh, well, actually, you know, let's call it something else because I think I have like three scorekeeper programs. We're going to call it um, score, score tracker, what we'll call it. You can call it your scorekeeper. Um, so, first of all, we're going to get rid of the forever loop. We're not going to be using that. We don't need extra blocks to confuse us. Um, we're going to set up two variables because we're keeping track of the score for two different teams. Um, so we're going to say um, new variable is going to be team one score. Click OK. And we're going to make another variable called team two score. Team two score. There we go. OK, so team one score, team two score. Of course, at the beginning, um, both of these are going to be zero. So we're going to set team score two to zero. And we're going to set team one score to zero as well. So if I just click on this little arrow, it has a um, drop down menu that comes down. And then I click on that. And there we go. Uh, team one score and team two score are both set at zero. Now, um, I want to be able to increment these scores. So, oh, and as well, we can display zero at the beginning just so that we know that um, we've reset and everything is um, back at zero when we start the the program. So now I need to be able to set the score. So when I push a button, I want team one to get one point. And so I'm going to go to my variables and I'm going to say uh, change team one. So I have to click on the arrow, change that to team one change team one score by one. I also have to display that score so that the person who's pushing the button will know and can see, hey, that I was able to give one to team one. So I go to show number. Make sure as well um, that you put this show number after the score has been changed. Don't put it before, put it after um, so that you can see the change that you've made. So in variables here, we're gonna put team one score in that blank there, right? So now we have push A button, change scheme, uh, team score one, team one score by one, and then we're gonna show it. So over here, I click this, and this operates just like the counter program that I just got finished making. But I have a second variable that I wanna be able to increase when I push B. So I need to go to input, and I'm going to take on, uh, instead of A button, I want it to be B button. When I push B, now I'm going to change my team two score by one. And just like I did over here, I'm going to show that number, uh, which is my uh, team score number. So go there, and then I'm going to change my team score to uh, team two score number um, by one. Okay, so now I click this, and it's one. And then if I click this, it's back to one, two, three, four. Um, so, but at some point in the game, maybe I want to see what the score is for both teams. So uh, I'm going to use a different input. Uh, when I push A and B, I'm going to display um, both scores. But I need to give some preface so that people know what it is they're looking at. Don't just show them numbers because they're like, well, what are the what do these numbers mean? We first need to tell them, hey, look, we are going to, so we got to show a string. We need to say, um, first of all, team one, and then we're going to show the uh, team one score. So we go to um, show number, and we're going to show the team one score. Um, so then when I come over here, I got two, A, B, it says team one, and then it shows the um, team one score. 
if I'm doing both of these, then typically instead of just saying um, team two right afterwards, I pause for like half a second so that they can actually process and look at those um, those numbers. So I'm going to put here show number and then I'm going to do team to score, um, which if I did this, then it's just the whole time it's scrolling. So it scrolls to team one uh, and then it shows the score and then all of a sudden team two. So you might want to pause it for like a quarter of a second, a half a second. Um, so that's down here in basic. We put a pause. Um, and if you want a half second, that would be 500. If you want a quarter of a second, then you can just type in uh, 250. And that gives you a quarter of a second that it's going to pause and show that score before it moves on. Final thing, um, at the end of the game, we want to be able to reset everything back to zero. Um, and so those commands are already here in the on start where it says set team one score to zero, set team two score to zero, and show the number zero. We just need to put an input while we're running the program that enables us to be able to reset everything. And so that's going to be under input, and we can just do on shake. So we shake this thing up, and we're going to um, be able to reset everything back to zero. So we do set team score two to zero and set team score one to zero. We'll change that there. Um, and then to know that everything's reset, we're going to once again show um, show that we're back at zero. So click here, and then everything is reset for us to be able to, to play the next game. So we click on A, B, or A, uh, team one score three, team two score five, uh, and then game resets, oh, score six, then game resets, we go back to zero. And so then um, we got one to one, to two, to three, um, and then we can show both of the team scores. So there is the full functionality for the scorekeeper. Um, once you're done with this, um, either you download it to a micro bit to show me in class, or you're going to um, publish it um, right here. You're going to hit share, um, score tracker, you publish your project, um, and then you're going to take this link. So copy the link, and uh, in Canvas, you've got to go to the scorekeeper assignment. And this here is then where you're going to submit the assignment. You put the link that you just copied to the clipboard here. Uh, right click and paste. And then you can submit the assignment. Um, as long as you have all those requirements that I just showed you, then you will get a three for the assignment. If you want a four, you've got to add some extra stuff, um, which is detailed um, in the description of the assignment if you'd like to do that. So there you have it. Scorekeeper. Um, hope you're able to understand, keep up. You can feel free to watch the video again if you need more details.